What's going on, guys? No! My name is Liam Clark. And yes, I am finally wearing my Let's Get Weird shirt. Or, uh... What's it called? <laughs> I forgot what it... Um... But let me tell... Oh, shit. Fuck. Let me tell you some shit. So it appears that, uh... People of Meg's County are not through, and they cannot accept the past. You know what? First off, you know who you are. If you're watching this video, fuck you. Double fuck you. Because this is bullshit. This is complete bullshit. So, as you know, a couple months back, someone hacked my account, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Someone hacked my account and posted shit. And ever since then, people have thought I was a racist and a racist. And I'm Western and whatever else. I thought all was good. All was well. You know, people have forgot about that. And or, you know that that was bullshit. Well, today I was going to the park. I was not only going dumpster diving, but I was also going to the park to just kind of hang out because it was perfect weather today and tomorrow's going to be a little bit better. So I might go out tomorrow. I'm not sure. After this thing happened. So there was a mother, a father, a tiny kid who I could really care less about if they die or not, I don't care about these three, and they had a dog. So here's what they did. Okay, so they were going, they were taking their kid the other way. Like, let's say I was going this way, like, I was going whatever. They were going a little bit farther um, around there. I thought they were giving me more space to kind of move and, you know, not be in my way. Okay, cool. But then they said that they don't want to hang around with me and all this shit. Basically what they ended up saying was that I've been in jail once, let me go there again. Implying that they are still pissed about what happened all those months ago. Proving that you are stupid. You're fucking dumb. Okay? I've tried to explain this so many fucking times. So many times. I'm going to explain it to you again. But your stupid fucking brain, oh wait, you don't have one. Can't comprehend it. I did not make that post. Let me, give you, let, me, let me tell you a little something. I hate civilization. I could care less if we all died today or tomorrow or whatever. I could care less if anybody lives. Kill them all. Kill everyone. I don't care. And I especially hate little fucking shitheaded kids like yours. Your kid. First of all, I hate all kids. I don't hate your kids specifically. I hate all kids. And I hate sex. So let me get this straight. You're calling me a rapist and a racist because someone else hacked my account. I even debunked this. I said in another video, and if I, if you haven't seen that one, you should fucking watch it. To get enlightened, because you'll learn something for once in your fucking life. That I have no need to be racist. I have no need to be whatever. You know, okay, first of all, why would I ever be racist? Why? Like, like what do I gain from that? And secondly, more important than racism, why... Would I want 
to rape kids. Okay, let, let's just get that out of the way. Why would I want to rape anybody in general? Why would I want to have sex? The very thing I hate. The very thing I don't ever want to do. Why would I want to have sex with anybody? All right, and let, let's let's make this even more logical. Why would I want to have sex with a stupid little shitty ass fucking kid like yours? It makes no sense, now does it? So again, fuck you and double fuck you. And that's not all the bullshit. Okay, so actually, what they did, you know, when um, they weren't looking, I flipped them off. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it either. But I don't. I really don't feel bad about doing that because they are just fucking stupid. Okay, to to fucking dwell on the past. I mean, there are people here that still do that. They still dwell on the past, which I think is both stupid and hilarious at the same time. It's stupid because, first of all, you're dwelling on something that just isn't so. I wasn't on Facebook that day when that, well, I was only after this whole shit went down. And I'm pretty sure, even if I did say those things, I already got my comeuppance, come up it. fuck, yeah. I basically got shit. I got fucking jumped the week after that. Literally, the week after that, I got jumped. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not going to really assume anything, but I'm pretty sure those people were behind it. So fuck you. Okay, and another thing. And you also know who you are. So. I was walking to the park. Again, you know. I, I, actually, no, I was walking home from the park. I was already done with the park. I've always, I, I swung on the swings and everything like that. Long story short. So I was walking home. And then... You know, I saw that there was stuff in the blessing box by the church. Not the church that is next to the funeral home, or uh, across the street from that, but the other one that was closer to the park. So I was going to get some stuff, you know, to bring home for dinner for a couple nights. And um, so someone I haven't... Let's just, I'm not, I'm, I, screw it, I'm going to say anyway, because this, this is you know, bullshit. Um, so I was you know, getting stuff, and then someone who I haven't seen in forever, uh, Dr. Hunter, you know, you know, you know, he just said hi and all that stuff, wondered how everyone was doing, and he also said if I wanted to fight this kid. Okay, so, apparently, there were these five or six little shits that, um, I'm guessing were either elementary school, like, transitioning from elementary to middle school, or, like, probably, like, sixth or seventh grade. Man, they can't be that bright, right, can they? Eh. Well, they apparently said that I wanted to fight them. Now, let me get something straight. Let's set the record straight. I have no reason to fight people unless they fight me first. If someone throws a punch toward me, I'm going to throw a punch the fuck down. I'll fucking throw more punches towards them. Because they're the ones that started it. I'm not going to go out of my way to start a fight with some with anybody. I am, I'm not going to fight anybody unless they fight me first. That's one thing you should know about me. So, yeah. And a couple... Let's say a week or two ago, I think. Well, actually, a little bit. Uh, was it a week ago? Or a couple days ago, I don't know. But there was someone that commented on one of my videos that I made, you know, after um, the whole thing about someone hacking my account and, you know, that. That the first thing I talked about in this video, what those people were going on about was that particular event. 
or something that didn't have any relevance at all. Which that didn't have any relevance at all. And nothing else. Because it's a fucking past. Anyways. So they, uh, basically flat out said that Meg's County is not that bad and I should stop being a pussy. Alright. And also, you know who you are because you're the one that fucking typed it. First things first. I'm not a pussy. Just because I hate living here, does that make me a pussy? Okay, if I ever said, let's say that I ever, I have lived in Dayton. Let's say I move back to Dayton, and then a couple days later, I'm like, you know what, I fucking hate this place. I want to get out of here. I want to get lost. Whatever. I want to go somewhere better. Am I a pussy for doing that or saying that? No. It just means I want something better. And also, yes, it is. As bad. I mean, you don't notice it because you're not the one that has to deal with all this shit that's been going down. You don't have to deal with people blaming you for things that never happened. You don't have to deal with people jumping you. You don't have to deal with, you know, wondering if you're going to survive the next day because all of this shit going down. You don't have to worry about that. That is why you say what you said. That's why... You said that Meg's County isn't the worst. When you're just wrong. Alright, I know it's, it's, you know, opinion based. It's from person to person. Like one person may think of Meg's County, aka myself, as the total epitome of hell. The total very definition of hell. Well, someone, someone else, will say it's one of the best places to live. Now, why anybody would say that, I have no fucking idea. But I heard someone say that one time. So that's why I made that reference. You know, that's why I made that, you know, kind of comparison. All right. Again, am I a pussy just because I don't like how I'm living? Am I a pussy for surviving, basically? I mean, if so, then you are also a pussy. Because, you know, okay, let me, let me also set one more thing straight. I feel like if you live in Max County, you have to know how to fight. You have to be strong like I am. Kind of, well, I'm not really built, but I'm somewhat. I have a little bit of muscle here and here, so I can easily over a really powerful punch if I had to. But, basically, if you're not powerful, you're fucked. Or if you don't have any connections to people. Basically, if you don't have any friends, or if you don't have any, you know, like, let's say, for example, you know, my friend Brandon, who I've known since I basically moved here back in 2005. Nobody really wanted to fuck with him. And if I was with him, nobody really wanted to fuck with me. So, if you don't have people like that, where if you're with them, they don't want to fuck with any of you, or anything like I just mentioned before, then you're fucked. I mean, it's not that I want to fight people. I don't. I, I hate fighting people. But it's like, these people, they want me to fight them. These people, besides bringing up the past and, and still thinking that that is relevant, which is not, it just begs the question, how stupid are you? I, I It makes no sense. All right, and like I said before, I have debunked that theory that it was me all those times. I debunked that fucking theory that I was the one behind all the attacks on that one person. I don't even know what the fuck it was. This is why... I want to leave. This is why 
I hate living here. I mean, if, you know, none of this ever happened, if I didn't get jumped, if I didn't get accused of shit that I never did or had any part in, and all that, I wouldn't mind living here. I mean, aside from the, the lack of jobs. I wouldn't mind living here, you know? But, like, because of everything that's happened lately, within... And this is just fucking February! What, what the hell's gonna happen next week, next month, next day? I don't fucking know. And that's the thing I don't like. I don't like not knowing if I'm going to survive the next day or not, because some fucking idiot decides, oh, hey, you know what? William Clark hasn't done anything yet, so you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to fucking find something and accuse him of that. Now, this, I guess, all the way goes back to, this goes all the way back to when I was, like, fucking seven or eight. This was before my nana died. Now, when I was younger, I used to do some bad things, like steal from people and blah, blah, blah. Anybody does that. Everybody does that. So you, first and foremost, can't rule yourself out. You are just contradicting yourself. You're telling me that you never stole anything when you were younger? Eh. No, fuck you. You did. We all have. We all have done things that we regret doing. First and foremost. Secondly, I uh, would get into fights with people when I was younger. Because that's what young kids do. Alright? They think they're all high and mighty. And they want to be the best of the best. They want to prove that they're... I don't know what. But because I did all these things when I was younger, people are still giving me shit for that now. Here's my word of advice for everybody. Move the fuck on. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean that I'm going to do it in the present day or even the future. Alright? Just because I did some shit back when I was six or seven doesn't mean I do stuff now. Or do the same shit now. Let me tell you, I'm not saying I'm in, I'm, I'm in the gang. I'm not saying that at all. But I have people, you say that to them, you talk shit about me to them, they will kick your ass. My sister Bethany is a perfect example. You know, someone talks shit about her, she wants to sue him now. Which, I, I would do the same thing, too. Because they say were basically one after me in the first place. But you talk shit about me in front of her, it's not going to end well for you. Let's just say that. So, my recommendation for all of you that think, well, actually, no, this, ain't, this isn't a recommendation. This is something I want you to do. It's what you need to do. Move on. Stop dwelling on the past. Stop thinking of me as something that I'm not. I'm not a racist. I'm not a racist. I am not anything that you think I am. I'm actually a good person. I help people when they need it. You know, let's say I saw a homeless person. I'd give them a little bit of money. I'd give them like 10 cents or 20 cents or something. You know, I'd help them out. If I saw someone was hungry, now, that's what I did at school. If my friends were hungry, I'd give them some of mine. They'd be like, yeah, you can have my uh, hot dogs, you can have my you can have my pizza. Well, not my pizza, because I fucking love pizza. But you can have the sides or whatever. You know, I'm not going to eat that, so yeah, you can have it. I'm that kind of person that will help people out. Hell, I do the right thing in some cases, and yet I get shit for it. Because of my past again. Now, again, my suggestion for all of you that think I'm this horrible, evil person just because of shit that I never had part in or people that are doing it based on my past, basically the same fucking thing, really. 
get the fuck over it. If you're trying to start a fight with me, that's not good. I mean, if it's a fight you want, I guess I'll fight you, but I don't want to. I mean, it makes no sense on any standpoint. It, it, it blows my mind that there are people that still believe that I would do stuff like that. Okay. Ask my sister Bethany. Ask my friend DJ Judson. Ask my mother Amy. Ask, ask anybody. And they will tell you. I don't ask anybody because if you ask certain people, they'd be like, oh, hell no. He's the total epitome of evil. But if you ask the right people, like I said, Bethany, DJ, if you talk to them, they will tell you how fucking awesome I am. They will tell you that, you know, I'm this awesome person. And they're not saying that because, you know, they're being confronted or whatever. They're saying that because it'll be a fact. They know me. And here's the thing about Mexicanians. You know, the people that are attacking you, like the, the, that couple with the kid and the dog, and also those stupid little shitty kids from, like, middle school. They don't know me. They don't know a damn thing about me. They only know what they hear. They don't know the facts. And if they do know the facts, they can't handle the truth. To quote... Some, or I forgot what the movie what the movie is from or whatever. You want the truth, you can't handle the truth. And in that case, you can't. People of Meg's County, they just can't handle the fucking truth that I am better than them. Because first of all, I don't fall in the past, and if I do, it's for good reason. Secondly, I am not bad. I'm not the most evil person in the world. Hell, that, that would be fucking Trump. Ha! I can sense the likes being dropped. Not that I had any likes in the first place, but I can sense them being dropped. And also, oh yes, you want, you want, you want, you want to know something? You're blaming me for being a rapist and a racist when you should go and follow our president. He is worth. All right. We know that he is a bad person. I think, I think Ohio is one of the pro-Trump states, a, a state that everyone's like, "All hail Trump! All hail Trump!" As for me, I'm like, "Are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you dead? Are you fucking dead? You gotta be dead if you want to follow this guy." I'm going to do something that's so 2018. I just dabbed. Yeah, you bet your fucking ass. I just dabbed. In your face. Ha. So anyways, to recap. People are stupid. People are Meg's County that think, and, 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 you know, they still believe in this bullshit that I'm this evil person are stupid. Alright, that, that's the best recap I can say of this video. And also, people need to move the fuck on. People need to accept the fact that I am not this evil person, okay? I know I'm repeating myself over and over and over, but sometimes you fucking have to to make a fucking point. And one of the points is that I'm not evil, like a lot of people think I am. I mean, first and foremost, you know damn well who, you know, I, some people, I mean, hell, again, ask the right people. Ask Bethany, ask DJ, they will tell you. I am not a bad person. I'm, a, I'm probably one of their, the coolest people they know. Then again, you probably 
hearing that, you're going to be like, oh, so Bethany and DJ are what you are, racist and racist. I'm like, yeah, also, that's that's the kind of shit that they also do. Anybody that sides with me, they automatically think that they are the same thing that they're trying to accuse me of being. I mean, you know, it's bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. All right? I don't want to have to fight people just because they don't want to give up on the past. I mean, seriously. Can I express this even more? I mean, I don't, I don't think I can because I've already expressed it so many fucking times. I mean, we got a pretty decent life, you know. I got a house, I got food, I got technology, and people. But I, I don't want to say my life sucks, but at the same time, I do. It doesn't suck because I have all these awesome things. I have a house, family, whatever. But it sucks because of the outside world. That's I mean, I mean, even if I stay inside and do fucking nothing the rest of my goddamn life, I sit inside, literally, literally, sit inside, and just sleep my life away, I will get blamed for something. Because that's happened. I didn't even go out whatsoever one night, and I get blamed for fucking stalking people and being in someone else's yard. <laughs> yeah, can you believe the literally these some fuckers? But anyways, guys and gals, I, 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 I'm, I'm fucking done. Until people bring this shit up again, which I, I'm, I'm probably sure they will, it's, it's fucking February, the beginning of February. We have like fucking ten months left. Well, oh, eleven months and so many fucking days left. So I'm probably sure people are going to still be talking about shit, and people are going to be probably finding out ways to get rid of me. Well, if you want to get rid of me, send me over to Minnesota. Send me over to um, Alabama. Send me to L.A. Send me anywhere but here. If you people really want to get rid of me that badly, send me to anywhere but here. It's as simple as cheese puffs on a cat. It's fucking simple. I mean, just take me to Minnesota, take me to Alabama, take me to North Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina, L.A., California, take me anywhere, but it's just that fucking simple. Yeah. And that's not a joke either. If you people actually think of me as an evil person, and you want me to leave this town, then you'd better take me to anywhere but here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, take me to, like, L.A., take me to anywhere, any other state. Or if you want to take me to another part of Ohio, that'd be fucking great. I want to go to Dayton. I, I miss living in Dayton. Yeah, I miss living in Dayton. But anyways... That's it for this video, guys and gals. If you like this video, give this video a like. It's fine, too. I can already tell some people are going to dislike it because not only did I mention Trump as a bad person, but also I mentioned people that know who they are that want to start bullshit with me. And that's, 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 that's the title of this video, and that is the goddamn truth. People want to start shit with me again. Well, I can finish this. I, I, okay, you want to start shitting on me? I will flush you down the fucking toilet. I'm a no bullshit kind of guy. You want to fuck with me, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Now, again, as I mentioned before, when I flipped off that, you know, the couple and their kid and their dog, I didn't have any remorse. And I still don't. Because of all the bullshit. You know, they should know better than to dwell on the past. I mean, seriously. 
why, again, why would I have any need for all this shit in my life? Like, like, do I deserve all this shit? No, I do not. I just answered your own question. I just fucking answered your own question. Anyways, guys and gals, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. I'm almost at 300 subs, so please give me two more, two more subscribers. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your pets, tell your goddamn chihuahua. <coughs> Woo. Give your dog a fucking YouTube channel. Give, give, give your dog a, a fucking Google account and a YouTube account and tell that dog to subscribe to my channel. I don't care what means are made to be, uh, give me a 300. Just take me a 300 sub. So close. And as always, guys and gals, <coughs> I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro -hub. Boom. Also, don't start bullshit. You motherfuckers.